Welcome back, friends, to the homestead. So a lot of you guys uh, send me some really great stuff. Uh, it's always fun to open open up the packages. You never know what's going to come through. Uh, I don't always share everything, but every once in a while, um, something so special comes in that I just have to share with you. For example, you know, some of the custom-made knives and things that, that you guys have made for me um, have just awed me. Um, that's the case today. Inside this case, this was sent to me by um, uh, Mike... Nelson, uh, who is um, a third generation farrier and bladesmith or blacksmith turned full time bladesmith, uh, custom made this kitchen knife for me. And this is, without a doubt, the sharpest instrument that I've ever, ever held. It actually creeps me out. It's, it's so sharp, sharp. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, that to you today. Some things that you just won't even, I just can't even believe it's possible. Uh, let's take a close up look at it. Um, and um, uh, anyway, I just wanted to share it with you because it is just so extraordinary. Are you guys sure you're ready for this? Poor Mike. <laughs> This has been here a couple weeks and he sent it at the wrong, I know he's been super anxious for me to open it and share it with you guys. Uh, it's been sitting with a some bunch of boxes and then we were traveling and out of town and I and I just couldn't get to it uh, until just recently. I finally opened it up and, uh, and wow, uh, it's amazing. So check this out. So it's a, it's a kitchen knife, uh, but it's, it's handmade guys. This, this here, is one continuous piece. When I took it out, I like, what, what am I looking at? I'm looking, I'm, you know, I couldn't quite get my head around it, but if you look and see inside that whole, he started with a piece of steel and he wrapped that whole handle and then went down and you can see the, 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 this is the tang uh, that fits inside that actually rolls into the handle. Sorry, it's a little bit dark here. And then it goes down to, it is a, a wafer thin, paper thin blade uh, that is so sharp, uh, I can't even believe it. I have, I've, I've really babied this. It's been really a fun, fun to use because I, we, we often cook dinners together, um, and so you know we have a variety of different knives in there in various states of sharpness, but nothing, nothing, never had anything that, that compared to this. So I keep it in this case in my office, and then when I when we do dinners together, I pull it out and it's like an event. You know, it's really fun. It's really have to have something that, that's been handmade, but is that not the most exquisite, beautiful thing? I mean, just, can you imagine the difficulty and the skill that would be required uh, to make this by hand? And, and I don't know if you guys could really appreciate it um, from the camera, but it is absolutely exquisite. I mean, when you take something that looks machine, you know, I mean, just the consistency of it, uh, and the taper of it, that's, it looks, looks like the only way you could do that would be with a machine, and yet it's obviously folded and handmade. Um, just incredible. What an absolute brilliant artist um, you are, Mike. I mean, it is just, it's just exquisite. You can see I've been using it here, and it is, uh, it's starting to discolor. I don't remember the type of steel that he used. Um, Mike will be in the comments if you have any questions. And also, I wanted just as a favor to him to put his social media. He does take orders um, by request, so you'd have to contact him. But I'll put that in the subject heading. I think you can contact him through his social media or Facebook um, if you wanted to order something. I don't even know what the availability is or what something like this would cost, but this is absolutely stunning. Isn't that interesting to have a everything in, in one piece? And I love the length and the it, it has kind of a Japanese feel to me. And I'm not the expert on on these these type of knives but it is a joy to use i always be sure to oil it i, I, I rub a little lard on there before i put it away um, it'll be interesting to see how it how it stains and patinas i guess over the years of use but let me show you uh how sharp this thing is what i've got here is a is basically an overripe tomato so it's very soft a tomato tomato will tell you uh, exactly how sharp a knife is but just to give you <laughs> it actually gives me the willies it, it's just I'm so careful with it because if you just touch yourself um, it would it would uh, just lay you to the bone but look at this look at look at that now again I'm not a master chef or anything but look at what happens when you look at you can cut like a 
a wafer thin transparent uh, slice of that tomato. Look at that. <laughs> can you can you sharpen a knife like that? Not only is he um, taking sh uh, you know knife making to a whole nother level, but I mean just the sharpening alone. I and this is after I've used this on on a dozen meals or so. And I know he told me, and, and he gave me this really nice um, laminated certificate, um, and it gave the had the instructions on that. I should have grabbed it. And I know that there, there were some things that I'm not supposed to cut with it because it will dye the blade. But um, maybe tomato was one of them, but I don't know. But I'll, I'll it's I don't care if it if it patinas. I think that that just makes it cool. But can you can you believe can you believe the sharpness of that? I mean, it's just un believable just amazing it's so so look at that so fun to use what a uh what a cool uh what a cool uh chef's knife this would have if you were like a professional cook this would be oh uh, man every time you took it out of its case it's just kind of an event just amazing isn't it let me try to give you a little bit of cl a close-up a little close-up look at that there how interesting is that handle that's one piece guys you can see his maker's mark on there embossed into the blade and it's hard for me to get this in here but the handle wraps around and then it actually makes up Let's see if i can get a better better angle here yeah it's hard to get in there with this light but man it feels good in the hand and all being one piece it's just just absolutely beautiful you can even see you know see up there the the where it wasn't ground on both sides obviously handcrafted just to have talent like that to do something like that i mean it's really it is really is extraordinary and me you know with a little bit of dabbling in blacksmithing that i've done it gives me a tremendous appreciation uh, for the skill that goes into this and how difficult that must be and the time that went into it to give your time to me uh, Mike and to share this um, and make this for me is um, well, it's it's the it's the greatest compliment you could really pay me. It's it's just in, and look at the, just the subtle arch, the, the kind of that sweeping in the handle. It just fits the hand perfectly. It's almost as if it was made just made for me. It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. What an awesome, awesome gift. Again, thank you, Mike. It really is. Uh, it really is beautiful. You're probably cringing right now. I, you, I think you even said, "Don't use it on citrus." And there, I cut, I cut a tomato. But I, that's okay. I, it's 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 a tool meant to be used, right? Uh, once it leaves your hand, uh, it's like our children. I like the analogy of uh, our child. We're the bows, and our children are arrows, and we can pull them back, and we can aim them best at the target and let them fly. But once that arrow leaves the string or the knock leaves the string. Um, there's nothing more you can do with it. You just hopefully you aimed it right. So <laughs> you can make something like this and who knows whose hands it's going to get into and, uh, and what they're going to do. But that is beautiful. So again, I'll put Mike's uh, contact information on there. You can uh, reach out to him if it's something that um, you might be interested in and I'm happy to, uh, to help him. But it, it, it's, it, it is amazing. It really is a beautiful thing. I have enjoyed very much and will enjoy having it. It'll be a, a treasure uh, forever. All right, so, and again, thanks for all of you guys who send me stuff that that that, don't, that doesn't all that I don't always feature. I can't I can't do everything, but uh, you know something like this is it's it's fun fun to share. Show and tell. We never grow out of the show and tell, right? So uh, yeah. So what's on tap for today? Well, unfortunately, so <laughs> Mrs. W has a a tremendous aversion to having mice in her home. Um, she does not like it at all. And so we're constantly, Jack and I are setting traps and all that. So Jack set some traps in our entry closet. And unfortunately, uh, well, two of them had mice in them and the third one was missing. And there is a bad smell now in the house. So this little bugger somehow uh, drug the trap off and died somewhere in the wall. So I'm gonna have to go in there and start investigating. And hopefully that's not gonna mean cutting holes in drywalls and cabinets because I've got to find this thing and who knows where it went and where it is. Anyway, let me know if you want to see that whole, <laughs> that whole process. Uh, I might bring you along for that, but that, um, I'm not looking forward to it. So 
uh, that's it. Yeah, so we got a lot of, we got a busy week this week. Jack and I went uh, kiteboarding. Actually, I should throw some video clips of that yesterday. Uh, or we, we attempted to go kiteboarding and the conditions got crazy. The winds kicked up and started swirling and was blowing at like 40 knots. Uh, and our instructor came up and said, nope, not today. I'm not taking him out today. Uh, and the sand on the beach was actually just blowing horizontal. I just watched the, all of the, the beach just completely evacuate um, when the wind conditions came up. So um, anyway, I'll roll in some clips to that. I think you might enjoy it. So thanks for watching. And we'll, uh, again, thanks, thank you, Mike, for just beautiful work. Um, beautiful, beautiful work. And we'll see you guys on the next video. So we were all suited up. Here, I'll give you a little shot of uh, what it looks like.